Hello, welcome back. I'm going to continue my theme of as far as discussing books today. And um, I'm going to, some people have asked, hey, what books can I read uh, to learn about economic truths and whatnot? So uh, I'm going to discuss some of these books as well as just other books that I happen to like that have nothing to do with economics. But first off is Confessions of a Economic Hitman by John Perkins. If you think a lot about what it says about Bankers Today's conspiracy, read this book because this will enlighten you as to the true motives and the Machiavellian motives of both international bankers, probably all international bankers today, because I've never met an honest international banker. Um, so great book to kind of uh, get the roots foundation of what international banking is about today. I recommend this. History is an important thing, because as you know, they say the winners write history, so history is never accurate, because you never get any of the other side of history from the loser's perspective. So, you know, whenever winners write history, everything is justified and everything is just and even atrocities they commit are just and not war crimes and whatnot. So this is a great book, A People's History of the United States by Howard Zinn. So basically it tells the history of the United States from Christopher Columbus, who was not a good man, contrary to uh, popular belief in America because we have a we even have a holiday, Columbus Day, named for basically a man that committed a lot of atrocities. So this is a great book. It tells the history of the United States from basically the non-American perspective, as you know, people do say the United States is a melting pot um, and that it was built by many different cultures, which is true. So you want an honest perspective of the history, or at least, you know, people say, well, this book is just as biased as other books. I want to say it's biased, it definitely does have an agenda, but um, you know, the great thing about this book is that uh, through most of your life you only see one point of view. So this gives you the other point of view to round out you know, your uh, belief about history. So great book, highly recommend it. Um, this book I really like just because it's a book about perspective. It's called uh, Teachings of Don Juan by Carlos Castaneda. So it's more just like about a spiritual journey, a metaphysical journey. Super interesting book. It will definitely capture your attention. It has nothing to do with finance or economics, but really enjoyed this book, so check it out. Naomi Klein, one of my favorite uh, authors. This book, No Logo, is a great book about corporate America. It will actually give you a vantage point to understand corporate banking as well, as far as um, how... The whole greed is good mantra of the 80s is back and how money rules everything. Her last book called The Shock Doctrine, which I've also read, is a great book and recommend that as well. This book, The Warrior Elite, about the Navy SEALs by former Navy SEAL Dick Couch. I highly recommend this book just because uh, I think it's a very inspirational book for the amount of discipline and um, perseverance that it takes to reach your goal. So I think it's a great motivational book in that aspect because, you know, living in our fight club, uh, single serving society we have today, people don't have the attention span today to really commit to something that takes a long time and uh, a high degree of commitment, high degree of perseverance to achieve. So in that regard, I think this is a great book. Okay, this book, Killing Hope. Uh, it's called U.S. Military and CIA Intervention Since World War II by William Bloom. It's great because it covers everything from the CIA's overthrow of a democratic government in Guatemala, uh, basically to support U.S. interests for the United Fruit Company. And then goes on, of course, to uh, discuss all other military interventions since, since then, including, you know, Interventions as are sold as humanitarian causes and whatnot, but that all have to do with basically uh, just taking resources from other countries and supporting U.S. corporate interests. So, great book. Uh, a couple other books. Ishmael, another great uh, spiritual book. It talks about two kinds of people in this world. It's fiction, but um, very, very interesting book. Highly recommend it. It talks about takers and leavers. So, in today's society, uh, the banking industry has morphed into a take, taking culture, which they just take, 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 deceive, and take some more. But it's important for the leavers to fight back for those that want to leave uh, the world a better world and how we can. Um, so it does 
have some applicability to uh, today's society and the fact that uh, it will give you some ideas for uh, what levers need to do in order to take back the power from the takers. This book is Gabriel Garcia Marquez's only nonfiction book called Lisa of a Kidnapping. Fascinating book about Pablo Escobar and his reign of terror in Colombia. But the interesting thing is, since the banking industry, since uh, most of the cash comes from drug cartels, uh, when you read this, it's interesting because, you know, basically you have one industry that's criminal, the banking industry, um, that sources most of its cash from drug cartels. And in fact, if drug cartels cut them off, didn't launder their money, the world would have a global liquidity crunch. And that's not a speculation, but that actually happened in 2007. You can find this Google uh, United Nations study money laundering drug cartels, and you'll see that a Mexican drug cartel, uh, because they're being um, basically uh, pros not prosecuted, but they, they were being pursued, I should say, by law enforcement agencies. They, as retaliation, they withheld their money from the global banks. <laughs> and global banks had a liquidity crunch because one drug cartel withheld money from the global banking system. So this is interesting because you see, okay, how one uh, industry, the uh, drug distribution industry is pursued uh, and then, you know, in the vein of justice or of, um, you know, me uh, basically meeting out justice, but another criminal ba uh, industry, the banking cartel is allowed to do whatever they want just because they control the law. So interesting perspective. Doesn't talk about the banking industry, by the way, but it just talks, it's a very interesting book by a Pulitzer Prize winning author about uh, the drug cartel industry. And then lastly, uh, just going to plug a couple of my books real quickly. Uh, Confessions of a Wall Street in Insider is one of my books I wrote about the deception of uh, the Wall Street industry. still available on lulu.com, www.lulu.com. And also want to know, let you know that I've written two other books uh, that are out of the banking industry. One called The Golden Gift, about the importance of sound money and uh, gold back money. And also my first literary fiction novel called The Staggering Depths of Blissfulness, which is basically a story just about the immigrant experience and um, also elements of just the meaning of life and spirituality. That's also available on www.lulu.com or you can find a link on my webpage at www.smartknowledgeu.com. Also, I, I want to say that I'll be donating 100% of profits from these two books, as well as a third book I have yet to finish, uh, to two children's orphanages, two sisters in South Africa, and future like kids in Thailand, as well as a third organization that helps children with learning disabilities in Vietnam. So um, please, please buy my books. It's not a self-serving thing. I'm not going to keep a single penny of profits from the first year. I'm, going to donate all three to three wonderful organizations, one ran by three uh, wonderful people. So that's it for today. Until next time, take care and have a great day.